Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday, February 19th. And so, friends, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Sing praise to our Creator, O sons of Adam's race, God's children by adoption, baptized into his grace. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, Mighty God, God immortal be adored. To Jesus Christ give glory, God's co-eternal Son. As members of his body, we live in him as one. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity. Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. Now praise the Holy Spirit poured forth upon the earth, who sanctifies and guides us, confirmed in our rebirth. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, Mighty God, God immortal be adored. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, 
that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness, and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden you with all who were captives, and all who were ravaged may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of, all age, the, Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, Happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his commands. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All-powerful God, it is through your church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food, and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. 
Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he will bear. Therefore I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty, because he surrendered himself to death and was counted among the wicked. And he shall take away the sins of many and win pardon for their offenses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. When you meet those who are in need of clothing, do not turn away from them, for they are your brothers. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your good deeds shall go before you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you meet those who are in need of clothing, do not turn away from them, for they are your brothers. Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your good deeds shall go before you. Let us pray to Christ our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer, and so enter your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. Lord, have mercy on us. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. Lord, have mercy on us. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. Lord, have mercy on us. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Gathering these prayers, calling to mind the prayers that we hold in our hearts, calling to mind each of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We lift up our voices using those sacred words that Jesus himself gave to us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, with your loving care, guide the penance we have begun. Help us to persevere with love and sincerity. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. 
And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours this morning. Uh, as a reminder, uh, today is the first Friday of Lent, no meat, uh, a day of abstaining from meat. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, live Lent well today, friends. Whether you are going out and about, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, friends, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.